series and this time we're going to learn to play every day which is an old Buddy Holly song from the late 50s and it's got some interesting things going on so we're gonna go ahead and play through it once and then the second time we'll go nice and slow and I'll show you some of the chord fingerings and tell you what I'm doing so uh, here's the version that I play of every day <laughs> you can do uh, improvisationally just kind of to add on top of that if you're going to play through it some more times or you can also if you got uh, the words in front of you and the chords you can sing along and do the, the strum and sing thing too so that's just a nice instrumental break so we'll just uh, tear it into little parts here and I'll tell you what I'm doing and show you and then you can learn how to play every day as well so it's in the key of C and I've got my low G uke that uh, because I need these melody notes on the on the first string and uh, again I'm a guitar player by experience so a lot of these uh, tunes that I know I learned on guitar first and this is uh, true in this case so we're in the key of uh, C and our, our first note is here on the third third string third fret and then we're going to A minor two zero 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 and then we can either go to F or to D minor, either one's good. Uh, if you're playing through it more than once, play it both ways, just for variety. Anything you can do to add variety is gonna be welcome. Then we're on our G chord, uh, 0, 2, 3, 2, and then we're just re releasing our middle finger. Got the open E note, and then back that same lick. Same thing, we can also do uh, open, but I like to do it as a A minor. And we go back to D minor, 2 2 1 X, and we're picking up the uh, third string at the third fret with our pinky. And both those notes are over the uh, G chord, open at the third string, and then second fret, second string. to the end of the uh, first chunk here so it's over a D chord but we need to use our pinky to catch this uh, melody note the B so we're uh, first string fourth fret open second string second fret second string and that takes us back to G and then we're doing the F G F you can do whatever you want there just fill in a measure uh, Experiment around on your own, see what works. Just uh, that's a good, another good place to kind of shake things up and uh, keep it a little more lively that way. And then we're going to just repeat the whole thing. See, I'm doing a pull off here over my my uh, open C chord, third string, third fret, and pull off. There's A minor, just uh, the two strings, second fret on the first, open on the second string. F or the uh, D minor again. Melody's up here on the high string. G chord, and the pull up. 
You can do a lot of things with your left hand, just pulling off and hammering on and, or slides. You know, those are just ways to embellish the song. So then we're repeating the same lick again. Open. Uh, third string, third fret. That's why you need to be low G, otherwise you're not going to have that note. It's going to be an octave above and it's going to sound real funky. Alright, so we're going to the B part. We just went through the A part twice and then on the C. <clears throat> so we're going to go to C7. Anytime you go from a major chord to its own dominant 7th chord, you know, like C to C7, that's a pretty strong indication that the next chord is going to be three full steps above. So since we're playing C here, if we go up three steps, we're going to an F. Uh, if you're familiar with the circle of fifths chart, you know, if you're, if you're on C and you add one sharp, you go to G. If you add one flat, you go to F. So you're, instead of going from one to five, you're going from one to four. And then it's going to follow that same pattern. You're going to go from F to B flat, B flat to E flat, and then uh, E flat to A flat. So that's the progression here. We'll just kind of walk through it and tell you how that works. So here's here's the end of our A part. Here's B part, F chord, 2010. Zero, zero. The melody is here on the top string. And we're going from F. If we go up three full steps, then that takes us to B flat. 3, 2, 1, 1. still on the top string, third, second, first, first fret, and, and we need to catch this um, fourth string at the third fret because that's where the melody is going, and then we're going from B flat up to the fourth which would be E flat, Just we're just going to make a bar here across the third fret, and the first couple notes are just here on the second string, so we don't want anything above it that would interfere or confuse the melody. So we're just going to do the thumb and the four finger pinch, first and second strings. And then we get the third string going. And this last note is here at the sixth fret, so we're going to catch that with our pinky. And then uh, here's our A flat. I'm making it with my pinky here. You're going to need your pinky to catch this note here. So if, if you want to just go leave your pinky off of this bass string, just don't play it open as all. Well. So you just kind of forget your thumb for this measure. Now you can go either way here with your pinky in or out because the open note, uh, the G, C is still part of that chord, G. I'm thinking guitar here. And then whatever you want to do, and we're just going to go back to the A part. A minor, D minor. And we're using our pinky. You know, you got, you got to use your pinky if you're going to play chord melody. Uh, it's just the way it is. Even if you're doing weird keys where a lot of the chords are bar chords, um, that's where your pinky's going to come in because you're going to want to fret just what would normally be like a, a, a seventh chord this way. If, you, if you've if got your uh, playing in D flat or some cockamamie key, you're going to need your pinky to make that chord. But that's just a bonus, so we'll get back to our song here, a D part. I'm just throwing in a little embellishment here. Okay, to catch the note another way, and just doing a slide here from the second and first frets on the first and third string up two frets to the fourth and third, and then back, and then back to the melody. That's uh, every day. I'm just going to play through it a couple more times here. Maybe throw in some of the 
hammers and pull-offs and just uh, things you can do to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> every day. If you have any questions, send me an email again. Uh, my email is chordmelodyuke at yahoo.com or look me up on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash johnny.hunt. And uh, enjoy learning every day. I uh, hope it works well for you. It's a great song to learn. And I'll look forward to another lesson next time on the Chord Melody Uke YouTube channel. Thanks.